Hey everybody, Boston Bass Company here. In my kitchen. All right, so today we're gonna to be going over one of our new products um, with one of the companies that we are currently working with now, um, or hopefully to be working with, but it's a uh, Jig Skins. So let me uh, show you their product and what they got. So Jig Skins is um, basically a, uh, a skin that you slide over your baits and they will shrink wrap to your baits in hot water so they've got all different sizes so you've got like miscellaneous you know if you're using like a plug for stripers bluefish um <clears throat> basically any saltwater fish i'm not sure i don't know uh much about saltwater fishing because i don't have a saltwater boat but um they've got miscellaneous looks like maybe for for tarpon um they've also got like um <clears throat> a bunch of the the bait fish um, a lot of forage fish so you got like perch common shiner trout more perch they've got bluegill i don't have any bluegill right now uh, i'll be sure to pick some up and do some more skins for you guys but these are the ones that i have currently done um, i've done two so far this morning just trying to figure out how to do it um takes about five seconds to do it and this one is a another topwater bait in uh rambo trout sorry and i've got a uh, andrew over here Try not to burn his fingers off. Um, if you are a young kid, you should do this with parental supervision or have them do it. But this is how you shrink wrap it. It's got to be in boiling hot water. Let's see if Andrew cannot mess it up. Okay, yeah, flip it over this flip it because there might be water inside it it's not hot so basically it's gonna shrink to all the nooks and crannies of your bait so when Andrew pulls it out and shows us so show us it so right here you have the uh, the leftover so all you got to do is a uh, clip it with um, Scissors or, scissors or uh, a blade and then you just dip it back in to uh, finish it off so this is basically what it is right here I'll click on finish right now so I'm gonna have Andrew finish it and I'm gonna be setting up these uh, next ones so we've got these topwater baits uh, walking baits um, I think they're about four and a half inches long fit perfectly with some of these sleeves I'm also going to be doing uh, a triple trout you guys can see this I'm going to be doing a triple trout bait this triple trout is going to be transformed into a legit rainbow trout and then I've also got a five inch bull shad in here and I'm going to be transferring to a perch and then I've got a s waiver 200 in here I'm going to go into a Turn into another rainbow trout. Rainbow trout, as you can tell, is one of my favorite colors because uh, it just straight gets bit. And you can't go wrong with a perch or a shiner color because that's exactly what everything is. So, let's see what Andrew is almost done with. Just a couple more dips, and then it will be finished. I'm just so amazed at how this one came out. That is a nice looking water walking bait right there chug and pug make sure if you're gonna do this you're gonna take off your uh, treble hooks of course with the swivel and then you can just place it back on after when you are complete when you're doing this be careful don't want anybody to get hurt can't go fishing <laughs> but you can't watch our videos I go ahead and dip it back in there to clean up those edges and then it's good and if you guys have trouble um, cleaning up some of the edges just use something like the edge of a knife just to press in the corners and it should be good to go all right so Andrew's gonna uh, videotape me uh, doing the next one now we'll probably be doing which one do you guys want to see uh, I'm gonna choose I will do the uh, triple trout next.
finish off the top and off and so. There it is. The finished product. That is a so beautiful that off bait. after it. Do it yourself and put it on. Probably dunk one more time after you put your hooks on. Or just the rings. Right here we got a uh, seven inch, I believe. Triple trout. I'm not a big fan of the shad color because there's uh, not too many shad up here in the northeast region. Didn't turn out too good, huh? Don't worry, guys. I'm just gonna grab the spring in the back. I mean, I'm not too talented at this. Sure, it's hot as heck. So, So this is what we got for a trout. And I'm gonna clean it up right here real quick. So this is all you gotta do. Off itself, and this last piece just kind of smush the rest of this down, and then you're gonna dunk it a couple more times just to make sure you get everything nice and tight. What you can do is put it in there and kind of flex it so that way it seals every which way. And man, that's already looking good. <laughs> 